Well, what could be the stickiest day of our great Minnesota get together is nearly over. But beyond the heat and humidity, there was something else in the air tonight. We call it love. Amelia's at the WCCO booth with an attraction everyone adores. Hi, Amelia. Absolutely. <laughs> You know, it is known as the original tunnel of love here at the State Fair. From soulmates to first dates, couples have been visiting Ye Old Mill for more than 100 years now. And we decided, you know, why not? Let's board one of those love boats and see where the more romantic State Fair memories are being made. We're celebrating our 101st fair here at the Minnesota State Fair. And my great-grandfather uh, built a ride. Uh, it's the original building that you see behind me, uh, the original motor, much of the original machinery. One young woman in particular who drove from the middle of Wisconsin because she knew that her grandparents had met on the ride in the 20s and wanted to do something that they had done. And, and we get a lot of stories like that. Thanks. Oh! Amelia, memories start here. Nothing says romantic like a little bit the of motion, motion sickness. sickness. I know. That is okay. So Keep sweet. Your hands in. That would be in, invoking the better or worse clause. Why are people screaming? Do you notice I'm holding on to you? Yes, are you a little freaked out? Just a little. You know what? What? I need to be more romantic. Take down more romantic rides. Like boat rides? Romantic boat rides? <laughs> you know, some things were uh, built to last. The old mill. The old mill, 101 and, years old. And Frank and Amelia. <laughs> That's so romantic. Thank you. Thank you for riding with me. Thank you. I may be in love with you even more after that. Oh, everybody was just ooing and eyeing over what Frank said there. Um, <laughs> So this is a fifth generation owned. That was Joe Keenan, who we spoke to. He's one of four brothers, and they're the fifth generation to run the Ye Old Mill. And it really was an, a nice, quiet, calm ride through there. We were just talking about why does it maintain its popularity. And Joe was speculating. He thought that maybe in this day and age of electronics and we're constantly busy, it's kind of nice to visit the simple things. And so you can find that at Underwood and Carnes, 325 per rider from uh, 9 in the morning until 1130 at night, Frank. It's lovely. I, it's going to be an annual tradition, I think, for, uh, from think now so? on. Don't you think? I'll take my boning so I won't get the motion sickness. Very romantic. <laughs> That's what I am. All uh, about romance. All right. See you, Amelia. We'll talk to you guys a little bit later.